Four months after the San Bernardino terrorist attack, the iPhone 5C of one of the shooters remained a critical but inaccessible piece of evidence. An ugly legal battle between the FBI and Apple suddenly ended when the FBI found a different way to get into the iPhone. An Israeli newspaper citing industry sources said the company that did the work was called Celebrite. Celebrite's offices are here behind me in this high-tech park just outside of Tel Aviv. Now, neither the FBI nor Celebrite will comment on the company's involvement, but Celebrite specializes in mobile device data extraction and decryption, phone hacking, and that's exactly what the FBI needed in this case. We reached out to Celebrite and the FBI repeatedly. Celebrite didn't return our calls, and the FBI wouldn't comment about the company. The FBI has said only that they used a, quote, outside company. But the FBI signed a $200,000 contract with Celebrite the same day the FBI announced it had gained access to the content in the shooter's phone. Shares of Celebrite's parent company soared. At a tech conference in 2014, Celebrite's forensics technical director, Yuval Ben Moshe, told CNN about their work. We allow uh, law enforcement a very deep and detailed uh, access to a lot of information that, uh, that is on the mobile device, and then it allows them to uh, deduct who did what, when, which is the essence of any investigation when you look at it. Celebrite's technology isn't just a hack on an iPhone. Critics say it's a hack on privacy. Ben Moshe says his company has been challenged in court. You got to make sure that whatever you bring into court can stand there and can stand any cross-examination. There are very, very strict rules and guidelines with most of the countries, uh, and we meet those. We meet those uh, to the best of our knowledge. To learn more about mobile device security, we meet Michael Shaulov. He is a mobile technology expert at Checkpoint, an Israeli cybersecurity firm. What are the weak points of an iPhone or any other mobile device that you can access the phone through? When you connect a cable to the phone, uh, then you can abuse all kind of protocols that the iPhone can communicate with the laptops. And then using by, by hijacking or by man manipulating those protocols, you can actually uh, unlock the phone. If I give you my iPhone, if I hand it to you, how long will it take you to hack this iPhone? It will probably take me faster to hack your phone when it's actually in your hands rather than you give me the phone. It's much easier to conduct a social engineering attack, basically to send you something that you will click on and you will install something on your phone rather than uh, I will try to actually guess or break your, your passcode. This is the flip side of the startup nation. Innovation used to build security, now used to exploit vulnerabilities. Is Celebrite the company behind the U.S. government's iPhone hack? They will not say, but notably, the company that signed the FBI contract and was enthusiastically touting its technology not long ago has now gone silent. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Tel Aviv.